tonight, three proposed laws that would have criminalized homelessness stirred up a long debate among Oklahoma City leaders today. The measures ultimately never making it to a vote today. News 4's Natalie Kleinsdale is here with details. Natalie. Well, that's right. Dozens of citizens also joined in vo voicing their concerns about these proposed measures. People are out on these streets sleeping in their cars because they have nowhere to turn. As rents rise in Oklahoma City, unfortunately, so does our homeless population. This is a community issue that can only be solved by the community coming together. But the idea of legally restricting where people can and cannot exist prompted some heated debate at Tuesday's city council meeting. It's asinine. It's stupid. This is a travesty. This is abhorrent and terrifying and won't even hold up in court. In the packed city council chambers, dozens of concerned Oklahomans pleaded for the members sitting in the horseshoe to vote against three measures proposed by Ward 8's Mark Stone Cipher. It is time for us to have that discussion. The laws up for discussion would have banned anyone trespassing or camping on public or private property, including bridges, underpasses, and land owned by ODOT and city limits. Violators could face fines up to $500. We need to decide, decide that it's not acceptable to condone living outdoors in urban areas. Oklahoma City Police would have authority to take law enforcement action to enforce these measures, and the backlash was immediate. Criminalizing homelessness is not the solution to care for our people. We don't have the housing or the shelter beds. That's why an ordinance like this can, can be so damaging, because there is no way for an unsheltered homeless person to behave legally. And after a five-hour debate, Councilman Stonecipher struck down his own proposal. In a statement, he said, Today was a great exchange of ideas. We are all working hard on resolving the homeless issue in Oklahoma City, but at this time, we need to keep discussing these issues among council and staff. Well, Councilman Stonecipher added that the positive outcome of today was that we can all agree the city is trying to do a better job servicing those who are experiencing homelessness.